just wanted to show you uh, what I just pulled out of the ground. It was uh, the first potato harvest, and I uh, just wanted to show you what I had gotten. I actually have five different varieties of potatoes. Those are two different varieties there. That's variety, and then two different varieties of red potatoes. And I don't know, I'm gonna, I'll maybe give you the total tally, look at the wording below, but I think I'm gonna come close to, I weighed this and I think that was nine pounds last night. And if those others come up to about 40, I would guess it was probably about 45 pounds of potatoes. So I wanna show you the size of the plot that I used to grow that. These are uh, the potato plots I used this year. Uh, those are two, about four by four foot beds. That's about right, because I got 50 pounds out of that wooden bed, which is about two by 10 foot a couple years ago. So I, uh, I went through, the potato vines were real long, but they were starting to look kind of beat up. I uh, cut them a couple inches off of the ground, and uh, then I took a, a fork and wedged it into the ground uh, about six inches away from the plant. And you pull it up and you'll find all sorts of potatoes uh, on the bottom. You have to dig around real good to get them all, but uh, it's it's pretty fun. Um, so what I'm doing though is a bit of an experiment, and I'm kind of I'll, I'll do another video and show you uh, later on in the year, see how it works out. But I'm actually trying to see if I can get a second crop from the same potatoes. So the plants that I had cut, let me show you one of these. Um, here's one that I had cut. You can see I cut it a couple inches above the ground. This one even has a few little seed potatoes on the bottom of it. Uh, there's a little potato starting to grow. I planted this back in the ground and uh, I moved them so wherever one variety was I moved them over a row just so you didn't have exactly the same potatoes growing in the same spot. But here it is the middle of August. We shouldn't get our first frost until middle of October. It'll give us 60 maybe it's maybe if we get a little bit later frost I'll get a few more days out of it and then we'll dig it up and uh, we'll see if I can get two two crops of potatoes this year. So I haven't really seen anything on doing it like this, so I don't know if it'll work. I know people sometimes get other seed potatoes, but uh, I didn't have time to do that, so I'm, uh, I replanted these. I'm going to water them in real good, and we're going to see if we get another crop of potatoes. But just a quick update, got about, I'll put it on there, but I'm guessing I got 45 pounds of potatoes at the uh, beginning of July, or beginning of August here, uh, from these two 4x4 four four foot beds. And I had planted, oh, the beginning of May, somewhere around the beginning of May. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.